Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how you grow your business, what's the most advantageous way to do it, and how you do it like an absolute rock star. That's coming up. So yesterday uh, I made a post, I actually put a whole video together, I was in the jacuzzi. Uh, and those of you that know me know that me with no shirt is not a pretty sight. Even though I was keeping my shoulders uh, below the water, um, uh, the camera, I was using my phone. I was using the, the back camera on my phone and there were so many artifacts on the video that after I edited it, I put up this disclaimer, please forgive the poor video quality. And then after I saw it a second time, I thought, you know what, I just don't even want to post that. So I'm going to go back uh, and I want to cover the subject again. And the, the question is, how do you grow your network marketing business the most effective way? Well, all of us know that our industry, our profession, is about duplication. So I always tell people, you want to be the change that you want to see in your downline. And that's a play on words because it was Gandhi that said, be the change you want to see in the world. So I'm here to say that you want to be the change that you want to see in your downline. And what that means is that you basically do everything that you want to see your downline people do. You've got to mentor your people. Now before you can mentor them, obviously you've got to know how to make the business go. So you should have a mentor if you have questions about that. And we're going to be talking a lot on, on this series about how you make your business go, where you find traffic, and all of those things. But today I'm talking about how you, how you get legs in your network marketing opportunity. So we're making the assumption that you've been working your business a little bit and that you actually know how to make it go. Well, the first thing that you need to do is realize that, you know, um, this is not all about speed and recruiting. You know, so many people think that success in network marketing is about you know, uh, recruiting as many people as you can as fast as you can. It's a misnomer. You know, the people that can recruit like crazy that don't invest in their people find themselves constantly recruiting. And if they stop recruiting, their money slows down and even stops. And the reason for that is because they've got no duplication. So how do you get duplication? Well, you want to build slow to grow, actually. It's an interesting thing. You know, I always tell people you've got to say as little as possible to as many people as possible as fast as possible. So you've got to be a person that can really get a lot of exposure. But when you get someone onto your team, you've got to build a uh, slow to grow. This is basically holding that person by the hand and doing the thing that you want them to be doing. You know, so many of us in network marketing, when we're new to the industry, we come to this profession and we say, oh man, if I could only find one rock star, I could get rich. We all want to get rich on the efforts of others, but it's interesting that the people that you bring onto your team are only going to do what they see you doing. And the other thing that I see a lot of in this industry, it's the people that have no documentation. They have never built a large organization. They're not full-time networkers, but they feel qualified to lead other people. And you know, you're going to know people by their fruit. You're going to know people by their documentation. If they don't have the documentation and the lifestyle, you've got to think twice about who you're listening to. So assuming that you've got the right mentor and assuming that you know how to build your business, you need to invest in the people that you bring in. And I, I recommend that you not work with more than three to five people at once. You need to do masterminds with these people. You need to make one-on-one -on -one time with these people and show them how you prospect, how you find leads, and actually call their warm market. Call the people up that are in their sphere of influence and show them how the business is done. Do all the work for them. Because when you do that, you're actually showing them what they need to do. You're leading by example and you're a servant leader because you're actually doing the work. And this is why I say, be the change that you want to see in your downline. Be the person that you wish you could find. Be the person that you're, you've been looking for. When you start to take charge like that, you're going to find that uh, you're going to start making raving fans. And when you have raving fans, when you have relationships in network marketing where people are excited when you, when you pick up the phone and call them, when they see your name on the caller ID, they're like, man, Tom's calling. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make time for that. You want to be a priority to these people because they know when they pick up the phone, it's likely they're going to make money. 
So going low and building slow to grow is what it's gonna take. Invest in three to five people and work with them until they have three to five people each. Now that's mean you stop recruiting altogether, but it means that in the beginning you're, you're, you're taking massive action, you're peaking interest as much as possible, and then when you get some people on board, you've got to split your energy. You've got to be a mentor, you've got to be a leader, and if you're not, you're gonna notice that it becomes a, an activity of recruiting, and you're gonna find yourself that you're an island, you're all alone in your efforts. Uh, we've gotta get out of this mentality that we've got something to sell. We're not uh, professional salespeople, we're professional marketers. And marketers basically only speak to the listening. Marketers speak to people that are already out there looking for what we have. Look, we've got an awesome thing to give in network marketing. We've got residual income, time freedom. We've got a better way than traditional business. You know, uh, the American dream, uh, the, white, uh, the, the house with a white picket fence, 2.1 kids, go to school, get a good education so you can get a good job. It's a pipe dream. It doesn't exist. There is no job security. And so network marketing definitely is a better business model. The old American dream of going to work 40 hours a week is dead. Uh, jobs are being outsourced more and more. Uh, the, the economy is unstable, but we've got an awesome business model that absolutely works. And there are people going to Google every single day, typing in home-based business, typing in work from home. They're looking for us. So all we have to do is position ourselves for those people to find us. And that's what marketing is. Marketing is solving people's problems. You know, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how, how the interview process works, how you go from uh, a person that might be uh, viewed by your prospect as a salesperson to their trusted advocate. How you go from someone that, that might be viewed as, uh, someone that might be hostile to them, like, oh, this guy has his own agenda, to how you become uh, someone that's on their side, an advocate, a trusted counselor, a coach. When the role relationship changes, that's when you really start greasing the wheels in the process of building your team. If you're in a business right now and there's people that you've brought into your business that you haven't talked to in a while, absolutely call them up. Apologize to them that you got too busy or that you were preoccupied and ask them what you can do to help them. Uh, make some calls with them. Now, I'm not a big advocate of three-way calls, but sometimes it's what you need to do in order to effectively train the person that you're newly working with. I love webinars because you get a mass of people on at once and you can multiply your energy. But when you're going one-on-one -on -one people, that's actually how you can show them the process, how you jump from subject to subject, you know? And again, we're not salespeople, but there is a flow. And if you're a good salesperson, it's definitely going to help in network marketing. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to remember to invest in people. Uh, you know, success in life is always about people. Success in business is always about people. If you put people first, the money is going to come. The money will be the byproduct of helping people and affecting change in people's lives and going out there and speaking to as many people as possible. So reach out to your downline, invest in them, keep your recruiting efforts going, but definitely split your energy to spend time with your team. Do like a weekly mastermind session with everybody on your team. Do some webinars where you're just uh, getting on with your people to empower and equip them. Do some trainings, just get on video and talk about an experience you had and just mix it up. You know, this, this profession is so great because uh, it's a social profession. It's all about relationships. It's all about meeting new people and helping people. And it's the best profession on planet Earth when it's done right. One of the problems with our profession is that there is so much dysfunction and dysfunction breeds more dysfunction. So you want to be that person that is no longer working dysfunctionally. You want to break the chain, start doing things right, and start a legacy so your people start getting duplication. And then lo and behold, you go from three people to nine people to 18 people to 27 people, and you turn around and you're like, holy cow, this thing has legs. What, what happened? This thing has taken off. And that's what it takes. It doesn't happen overnight. And that's why we've got to go slow to grow. But once you get momentum, once you get to that critical point where people that you have never met are waking up thinking about their business, they're waking up thinking about how they're gonna build their business and it starts adding uh, dollars to the bottom line on your paycheck, 
Man, life is pretty grand. Don't forget guys, I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Please leave a comment and by all means subscribe if you're getting value from these talks. I'm gonna keep doing them and we'll see you on the other side. Until next time, live well, love well, 